Hello guys, uh, it's your boy Eric. Uh, I'm not your boy, it's your friend or uh, whoever. And it's been a while, sorry for not um, putting any video out there. And it's because I've been busy creating some amazing stuff for you guys. I'm trying to create tools that we can use as you can see here, it says more graph tools. But the first thing that I've come up with is Eric's key friend. Yeah, I, did, I couldn't find any better name for it, but I created it and I guess Eric can come first. This is what I've done with Eric Keyframes and um, let's just take a look at it. Yeah, it's just a fancy little equalizer, multiple colors and I mean, some fancy thing going on. I'm gonna go straight ahead to explain what Eric Keyframe does and then we'll go into this project from start to finish and show you how I quickly did this. I'm gonna create a new composition, a fusion composition and we're gonna go into the fusion page. What is Eris keyframe? Basically, Eris keyframe, let me bring it down so we know, we just explain it. Basically, it takes care of this timeline over here. See it as a, as, a, as a separate timeline in your compositions to animate or to offset whatever animation you've done on, on a particular uh, nude. So when you pipe any nude in here, you get a separate timeline for it. I'm gonna put down a background nude here. Let's just view the background nude. It's just a plain black background. It's turned into white, any color would do. And I'm gonna create an ellipse mask over it. I'm gonna set a keyframe from frame zero to let's say uh, frame 30. And let me just reduce the size a little bit. I don't want to do this. I don't want to animate the width or the height. So what I can do is to easily use the border width to animate it so if i set it to zero i can just scale it down a little bit till it vanishes from the screen so i can animate the border of it to get my radius you go to frame zero set a keyframe animate and set it to zero and then on frame 30 i'm gonna bring it up to the size that i want so this is my basic animation so if i play it's gonna move from frame zero up there imagine if i needed a second copy of this to animate it what i was gonna do is maybe probably going to put a transform nude that's what you're gonna probably do you want to put a transform nude pipe this one into it and then you're gonna merge it again on top of it to when you view this and you can offset this uh second one and then you can get two of them but the issue is now when we play they're all playing at the same time what if you want to offset the second one or change something about it or let it start later? You can achieve that in Fusion, but it's going to be complicated. You have to go into the keyframes, switch things around, get the keyframe, go there, switch it. And what if later on you want to make changes on the keyframe, on the animation, you don't want it to come in like that. Then you have to change all of it. So that's when uh, keyframes, Eris keyframes comes in handy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this off, pipe this into it. Maybe you on this side so we can look at it side by side. So now when we play, they all play in at the same time. The first thing we have here it says mode and it's set to forward. We can change that, of course we can change that. So we can change it to reverse. And let's see, what's this one that's coming forward? The one that we view in here will be going back. Um it didn't work. Yeah, why would it work? So I'll tell you why it's not working. Uh because Eris keyframes uh, takes care of uh, it's more like trimming in, a, in, a, in an edit page you trim your in and out and then it will select that and use right now it's trimmed from 0 to 100 so if, if I say reverse it's gonna reverse from 100 to 0 100 to 0 that's why you're not seeing anything yet so our animation starts from 0 to 30 so what we're gonna do is I'm selecting the range that I want from 0 to 30 and then now when we play it's gonna reverse and this one's going forward to make good sense I'm gonna match this on top of it so we can view both of them in this match nude I can offset it to the side and if I want I can push this away and put a transform nude before that that's this one so if you're in this I'm gonna offset it here so I can get space for the second one so now when you just view it you can see the second one is also placed on the side so what is happening essentially is it's playing the same animation I haven't changed any keyframe yet but I'm using this to reverse 
whatever animation from 0 to 30 is going to go from 30 to 0 so that's what you're seeing right here let me just set it back to forward so now we we have in the same animation we can also go ahead and offset this so we can, we can say the second one should start from frame 10 instead so you can also trim animation so let's see if you go to frame 0 this has already been trimmed and you can offset the animation and select it to start from wherever you want so I will leave it back to frame 0 so they all start at the same time you can also offset it and tell it when it should start so I can push this all the way till it start from like let's say start at 15 12 frames later so it's gonna delay so this one comes first and this one follows what if I wanted this to finish playing before this one comes back then I have to set it to start offset from frame 30 because i know that's when the first one's gonna end it's gonna end at frame 30 so at frame 30 it's gonna start the second one so let's see how it goes this one comes and this one comes and it can even change it to reverse so at frame 30 it's, it's gonna come back cool right uh, and the next thing is hide offset because we've offset it at 30 frames it's gonna hide it until it gets to that 30 frames what if i don't do that this is what's going to happen at frame zero and let's say let me trim it to start from somewhere from here it's going to stay there but does nothing until it gets to that number but if it's there and i, I check um hide offset it's going to hide it until the time is up before it shows it okay go back to zero put it back on offset and the next thing is speed of course we can also change the speed of the animation let's say this one go to a bit faster like 1.5 start from let's take the offset off so we can tell the difference in the speed so you can see the first one comes really quicker uh, the second one with the keyframes comes really quicker because we just up the speed you can also slow it and then you can see the animation will play a bit slower yeah that's it uh, so we can leave it back to normal speed the next thing we have here is loop so if I check loop, it's going to do exactly what it says. It's going to keep on looping. Let me just take the loop off and then let's go to the next function and see what it does. So we have holding time and hold out time. When your mode is set to forward, you want to play around with the hold out time. Tell it what to do at the end of 32 frames. Let me say it back to 30 frames. So this really corresponds with the end frame and this corresponds with the beginning frame. It's more like the hide offset. This one works for the offset. This works for in. This works for out. So what it does is at the end of the animation, I can decide to hold the last frame or the first frame. So what if I uncheck it? It's going to take it off. Once you finish playing the animation, clear the image. That's what it's telling you. Yeah, that's what it says but if I say hold last frame it's gonna hold whatever the last image looks like one more thing uh, is you go to the menu you've got bounce you can also bounce so it will animate and back and forth so it comes back it goes back it's the single animation it's just doing it bouncing it back and forth and you can use it for some cool stuff in, in combination with a loop you can do a whole cool stuff like a bounce and that can increase the speed of the bounce and it's gonna be like a flashing bulb or whatever it is so you can do cool stuff you, you, can, you can even bump it up so it's cool if you get stuck and you don't know what's going on over here I also created a little notes uh, a help menu here that you can scroll down it will tell you whatever everything does and it can guide you as well but do not skip the first four lines they're very important uh, it was created by me and you have to support me to create more and you have to support me on this site patreon uh a patreon site this is the link and this is the youtube link and this is my paypal if you want to send direct cash maybe you want to send me some huge money you don't want to use patreon but really cool let's start the fan page at patreon because from now on that's where i'm gonna put all the tools in fact this tool you can only download it from patreon website because when i post the video it comes with the link of the project file or the two that I'm gonna make I think that way is easier to keep track of the tools and then so you hit on go to patreon uh, slash VF Explained and then be my patreon in the next tutorial I'm gonna take you through how I created this one right here